Hello, my soccer universe. Well, I'm not in a very good mood, so I think this is the right mood to be in this video. Um, yeah, the mood is very little channel related, actually very little soccer related, just life. Life sucks sometimes, so yeah. What doesn't suck is I have the new background. Um, now they're sorted by group. I have my two additions up there. Wonder if you can see those. Yeah, I like my Euro background. I just realized that uh, compared to when I have club jerseys up there, it's a little bit too, well, too little jerseys up there <laughs> in a way. But hey, they will grow for sure. I'm going through the group stands. I realized there are at least three nations that have to be put up there. And uh, also, not that I did not only put um, home jerseys, I also put uh, quite a few away jerseys up there as well just to make it interesting i'm wearing an austria away jersey for obvious reasons and if you don't know yet uh by the end of the video you will know for sure uh lots of new kits for euro 2020 but not only for euro 2020 have been released um yesterday and today so monday and tuesday uh quite a few have leaked and yeah i wanna give you my first impressions on this and the good, the bad, and the ugly. And yeah, the ugly will get a big section in that one. I can tell you that right off the bat. My general uh, thought for all the Euro shirts is uh, it's probably the worst looking Euros. Might be. Let's see. We haven't seen any of these kits in game. We don't know anything about Nike yet. I say it's basically two brands that we'll be looking at. It's Adidas and Puma. Adidas releasing home jerseys, Puma releasing away jerseys, interestingly. We have one leaked home jersey though as well, so um, let's get right into it. Off the bat, why I had the good, the bad and the ugly. We don't really have the outstanding, although the first kit we look at the European is very close to outstanding. Um, but there are also three other nations that I can think of that have been released uh, that are not Euro European and actually look quite interesting. That is Japan, um, with a kit that will clearly divide opinions, but uh, in a way it has a very busy pattern in all types of blue, a little bit white in there. Um, which looks, to be honest, I like it. It is crazy enough, but it looks Japan. Oh, for lack of a better word, would it be my favorite Japan kit of all time? No, it does not beat the 98 World Cup jersey. Um, even some others in the mid 90s that were crazy, um, but still are iconic. Around in there. Come to think of it, uh, there's always a little bit about Japan jerseys since Adidas took over full time that booked me. Uh, I've never found yet, I have yet to find the absolute perfect Japan jersey, although I think the 2016 one is pretty darn close to that. That might be the one that I have my eye on, or the 2014 World Cup jersey. So, Japan, I think it's outstanding. I'm not giving you any. Uh, ratings yet, but I think the Japan jersey is outstanding. Maybe the light blue back, the pattern should continue on the back, although it might be hard to put any number on there. We have an Argentina away jersey that I actually like and gives us a lot uh, about how um, the Adidas kits look in general. We are very templated this time around. Um, I like the dark blue base, although I, I have a jersey like that. I wish it was darker. To be honest, I uh, really, really wish this one this one was darker, but okay, uh, you gotta take it as is. Um, but I like the flag, and this is also a feature with other users. They have a thick flag. Um, the pattern on there, as we'll see, is unfortunately not Argentina specific. This is all the nations get a similar pattern, and the same goes for the Colombia away jersey, which is actually the blue that I would like to see in the Argentina. It has the nice Colombia flag on the side. Um, but in general, I find the shoulders, if this is really true, the shoulders are darker than what's below, and that I don't like at all. But yeah, um, that's basically the three kits, and those are Adidas kits that I find actually not that ugly. They are bordering excellent to good. But let's go to Europe. <sighs> really, let's go the good, the bad, and the ugly. Uh, and I want to start with 
what I think is the best kit released so far. And it's not 100% perfect. This is the Italy away jersey. When I first saw it, and especially in the promo pick, uh, the background, it absolutely looks gorgeous. It has the pattern, which is of course inspired by this Renaissance kit that Italy put out. I saw it yesterday in a store. I have to say, I'm s I was very tempted of getting that one. But I like this white one actually better. It has some cultural references in this overall print in there. I actually even like the darker blue, which gives it a certain uh, antique feeling. And the crest is really popping nicely. Um, the holes here that I find a little bit odd, but this is now a Puma feature. It's copied right out of Nike uh, around 2010 to 2014, something like that. That one I like a lot. Yes, a uh, colleague of mine was right. If you look at the wrong angle, it might look a little bit more like a tablecloth than a jersey, but overall I think it's a pretty darn nice looking. Uh, then we already go to the Adidas jerseys. None of the other Puma jerseys that I saw uh, I would put in the good category. I really would not put it in the good category. Also with the Adidas ones, I am on the fence of almost all of these. Um, I Let's start out with, I would say, um, Belgium. This is really between good and ugly. I like this brush stroke effect on there. It gives something special. Um, I wonder why the color, why the yellow is not closer to the red and the black outside. I think that would have made more sense. Uh, they have an updated crest, which I personally like the old one better, but I think I can get on board with that one, although it looks a whole lot like a coffee brand. Just mirror it and you will see uh, that one's a little bit off. But I think overall the Belgium jersey, I think, will just get a pass uh, by me. Um, I would say similarly for the Sweden jersey, although here I see opportunity mixed, a uh, mixed, mixed, mist. Oh, um, as I said, <laughs> Um, here I find the colors a little bit off. Um, it shows this kind of 90s feeling overall template with the wide sleeve cuffs that are supposed to mostly display a flag, which it doesn't in this case. Uh, it takes the navy that is used for the color and puts a light blue which is used for the crest. So uh, to kind of put a little bit of cohesion there, but honestly it leaves me wanting. It's not a great. Uh, it's not a great jersey, but you know, there's nothing crazy about it. Um, the Russia jersey, I think, I would count definitely among the good. Although um, the yoke and the jersey, the jersey has all the pattern. The yoke has nothing. That's a little bit putting off putting to me. But if I look at it in general, you have uh, the red jersey with you have the white 90, early 90s style collar, and I have to say the thick sleeve cuffs completing the Russian flag that is a nice touch. So this one I would bet put definitely in a good category. If now the pattern would be something um, of note. I would like it even more uh, than some lesser nations. I have to say Northern Ireland with the diagonal brush strokes looks all right. Um, who else? Hungary has vertically brush strokes, which are supposedly influenced by the Danube. Uh, I do like that the color has the Hungarian flag in there. I'm not so fond about the side striping and, uh, you know, the thick sleeve cuffs in one color. There's an opportunity missed. You could have put another flag similar to Russia in there. So, but you know, probably we won't see Hungary at the Euros, but uh, that kit is workable. Uh, I have to say Wales is interesting. Uh, the new crest actually I have to say that there's something to be said about the new crest uh, of the red with the yellow. The sleeve cuffs then get a little bit too colorful uh, for my liking, but I think it's all rightish. And that just about covers it for the good. Um, not quite. I would say not quite bad, but also not good uh, is now probably the standout shirt, which is Germany. Also has a brush stroke effect. Uh, this is the first Germany kit and that r since the 2014 workup that really features something new and this is those horizontal uh, brush stroke. I mean it really looks like brush strokes. Um, which to be honest it gives a fresh new feel to it. 
Uh, it just looks a little bit too much like a pajama to me. Uh, also, that the side striping is only for a short while, and then uh, you know it doesn't go all the way down. And I think most damningly um, that it goes vertically when everything else is horizontal. However, the crest placement, logo placement is good. And then for me, the biggest miss is uh, look at the sleeve cuffs. There could be a German flag in there, but then the gold is made very, very minimal. Um, if I haven't said it before, I actually take all those pictures from footyheadlines.com, a page that I can only recommend. Sign up for it on ever social media. Uh, check this site regularly. Leak jerseys all over the place. It's a glorious page. Uh, the writing is maybe not always perfect. Uh, grammatically and so on, but given information, I can only rec recommend these guys. That's why I'm keeping their word mark in there. They're absolutely doing a fantastic job giving always the latest updates. So for me, the Germany jersey, uh, it is a fresh new look. I'm much less opposed to it than to the 2014 jersey, which meanwhile I actually like. But it's also not perfect, um, especially the sleeve cuffs, the thick sleeve cuffs. Uh, if there was a German flag on there, I think I would like this a whole lot better. But I can also see what they're trying to do because the gold is kind of of the same width as the brush strokes over. It looks really weird on the shoulder where there's still a little bit of brush stroke and then it's all white on the back. So I wish that all these designs would go around. I hate these modern days where we have only the front has a design and the back is then a completely different animal. Very extreme for the Japan jersey. The bed. The bed. Now we go really to the bed. Um, where shall I start? Um, let's start with Scotland because this is a little bit less obvious. What I don't like about Scotland, I don't mind the dark blue and then these horizontal uh, bands in there that actually is interesting. I do not understand the sleeve cuffs. WTF. Uh, this is not Scotland to me. And then you wear them with blue uh, pants and, 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 and so on. Again, this is a little bit below the Georgia, but I think I want to get it in the bed. I do not understand. I do not understand the accent. Um, also, the pattern it could be in my opinion, a little bit more tartan pattern, then it would be perfect. So there, to me, a chance missed. Um, let's go really bad. I actually have only uh, one left for our, our, our deals, and that is Spain. Uh, boring, and again, double UTF. Um, I think I know what, what, what they want. If you look at the Spanish Federation crest, which is not the one that you see here, um, that's the national coat coal, coal, coal of arms. There is this um, grid pattern on there. But give me a break. Uh, this looks awful. It looks downright awful. Uh, you have the, the lines here, then the different shades of red with... It is not exciting. It is boring and it doesn't make any sense whatsoever, especially the line across the chest below the crest it doesn't make any sense. Either get either horizontal or uh, work vertically lines, but nothing like that. It, it it's messy. When I saw this, I, what is this? This is a team in identity crisis. Maybe then that's fitting. Uh, bad. Uh, and we have to go Puma. I'm afraid uh, here. Uh, really bad, I think, are the Switzerland jerseys. Let, let, let's go with the Switzerland away jersey because that's uh, kind of the one that sticks out. This is a copy of Slovenia. Uh, Switzerland goes with a dark red tone, which I already don't understand. And then you have this uh, mountainscape, which looks straight like a Slovenia jersey in four different colors that have nothing to do with it. And then the little crosses on there. Uh, which makes it like a soldier graveyard. I hate this one. I really find this bad. It's not a good look at all. Um, I think I want to end here the bad category and let's go right to, to the ugly. And I keep the ugly, the really, 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 really ugly for the very last. Um, See already Belgium away kit has leaked, but you know, uh, let, let's, let, let's leave that. Uh, sticking with Switzerland, I think ugly we can definitely describe uh, the leaked Switzerland home jersey. 
Um, what were they thinking? Yes, the Switzerland home kit, I give it, it needed some reworking. Uh, there's no question about it. we needed something more exciting. But this uh, prediction with the slanted pattern and the white stripes, I'm actually okay with that. But then look at the stripes. It's little crosses, little crosses, little crosses, little crosses, little crosses, little crosses, little crosses. Little crosses. It looks like a soldier graveyard. <laughs> then the red tone. <laughs> I mean, give me, um, give me a brighter red. Then maybe I can get down with this pattern somehow, but I have to say I, I, I do not get this. If I know this is not 100% but I find this extremely ugly. Uh, extremely ugly, although I probably can get on board with the uh, explanation that they're using is the check away jersey. Um, have you seen that one? It is a a very limey green with dark accents. Uh, Puma really, this time around, Puma really wants to put us uh, in Hulk uh, in, dif in different colors. Um, they explain to it, we want to do something new, something youthful. Um, it's not a national color, but it reminds us of the linden trees that grow in spring. Give me a break, this is fugly. Fugly. I don't want to see this. The only thing I can say that works well, it, it will give contrast to the home jersey, which will be in red. But everything else is horrible. I hate this coat of arms, this new one, the Lester, and I don't like this. I really like the one that they had before much better. But uh, <laughs> give, me, give, me, give me a break. You cannot put anything out there. It looks like a training jersey. But my winner for the absolute worst of the newly released and leaked kits so far is the new Austria away jersey. I saw it for the first time yesterday. First of all, what's really... First of all, I have the least problem with black. This black Austria jersey for issued for 2008 uh, euro is actually one of my fa favorites, although it has its flaws. I am not necessarily fond of uh, the gold it's not like here is a little bit gold and then on the back is, a little, is maybe a little bit too much gold. I think this should be red. Um, I totally love how the crest, and this is what I want to have on an Austria jersey. I want to have this shield with this eagle, uh, that's the national cord of arms. Uh, it's just the eagle, but then on, on the shield it makes it, it looks gorgeous, on the, on the, on, honestly. Uh, Similar to the eagle that Poland uses, this is one of the strongest national symbols uh, when you want to look uh, for an, an animal that's out there. It's detailed, it's strong looking, it is a national symbol. So that I absolutely love. What they came up with here, I mean, is an abomination to the highest degree. First of all, it's on a white background. So black uh, jersey, white background, a huge contrast that just <laughs> jumps, puts all the attention to it. Then the eagle, to me, it looks more like a spider. Nothing else. Like It doesn't look like an eagle to me. Um, the best thing they got is the shield. Uh, the eagle's head is like from a five-year-old. And the wings? Give me a break. What is this? A again, <laughs> is this the eagle? <sighs> now, the best explanation is that this should re re represent the ten branches of the Austrian Football Federation, which are the nine confederations of the provinces, we have nine provinces, plus the Bundesliga, and uh, represent the unity. Those entities are everything but united and are actually at the root of what's going wrong in Austrian soccer. And then to top it all off, you know what I hate most on national team jerseys? You know it. If you've been uh, watching this channel for a while, you know it. A freaking soccer ball as crest. A frigging soccer ball is crest. For Bulgaria, I have been for years saying, get rid, get rid. Now they have to lie on. Bulgaria jerseys look beautiful. Uh, the only countries in Europe that have a soccer ball in there, I think, is Iceland and probably some much, much smaller countries. Everyone else gets rid of it. Austria puts it on there as the claws of the eagle. I mean, 
my daughter could have pro could have produced easily a better eagle. It's absolutely ugly. It's absolutely ugly. This uh, logo and this is the worst aspect of the jersey. Now, the one that I like all right is the black. That's fine. It just doesn't provide any of contrast. But then, the accent color is uh, turquoise, which is of course inspired by the Art Nouveau style, the purple and the gold that's all over Vienna. You know, you have white white not black with uh, this um, oxidized copper color and a little bit of gold and that's why we put it on there I mean oxidized copper means it's old copper it's uh, kind of already blah, so uh, take anything on top of that it's the color of the ruling part in Austria so I mean that has people already going nuts as an accent color maybe all right but it's not an austrian color absolutely not and if anyone tells me this is because we're inverting colors and then you get what what was the inversion it's not red it's pink it, it is <clears throat> uh, and then to top it all off and make it absolutely unusable as a if for interchangeability with the home home which we need because the home is red white red and you barely ever can play in red, white, red. You need to do something with the pants. We have the imperfect solution of using the black pants from the away kit, which is actually the classic Austria kit. Teal pants and socks. Top of the jersey. Don't get me even started. Don't get me started. And then the pattern on there. I first when I saw it, it says, Yeah, it is probably sure it should be the feathers, but then I look at it, there's too much geometric in there. There is something else going on. Maybe this is some architecture thing. No, it should be feathers. It doesn't look like feathers, it looks like a hermlin or something like that. <sighs> no, they really went all out. They really went all out and ruined the national identity of Austria. Uh, down to the point where I'm saying I actually want them to not make the missing points that we need and that we fail to qualify. I do not want to see this. I think they need to be tarred and fed up. I am working hard to create a shitstorm on the Austrian Federation. Okay, I maybe can live with the jersey for a while, but this crest is for me the worst thing ever. Do you agree with me? I'm seriously depressed over that. Uh, at work, uh, I keep telling people how much I hate the whole thing. Let me know what you think about the leaks and uh, and the uh, release jerseys. It's nothing really big to write home about. I guess you'll agree with me. If you don't, drop a comment below. I hate this Austria jersey. Puma jerseys for Austria as of late have not all been a great day away jersey for the last years, maybe with an exception, although if it would have used the full crest and not just the eagle, it would have looked much better. I'm glad that I got the last really good Austria jersey, uh, which is this one here. That was the last one that really looked good. And before that, I think the one for the Euros 2008, and then it has been a while that we had a good jersey. Uh, I absolutely got it. I will not support Austria. I mean, there are reasons why I will not support Austria. Uh, it has nothing to do with national pride. I think that we are regressing and it's down to the talent that we have that we still qualify. What would I do better? If it has to be a black jersey, if you ask me, I would use some sort of brush stroke pattern or whatever. Make a sash in red, white, red across. Red, white, red on black pops. That makes for a great accent. Make the sleeves red, white, red. Do some black. Use the Austrian flag on it. Somehow. If you make art, if you want to use our ar architecture, take the roof of St. Stephen Cathedral for crying out loud. If you do Art Nouveau, make it like the Renaissance kit. Make it actually look Art Nouveau. And please, please, please stay away from stupid corporate crests. Use a national symbol like most national teams are doing. And then put your federation logo some, somewhere. Maybe you can put the one here and then the other one here, which would look stupid. Get a different symbol. And the Austrian Football Federation never had a great symbol to begin with. 
but this one uh, beats everything and they are not proud of it cannot imagine cannot imagine how how might i go the slovakia way go the what poland used for 2012 you know use both crests there were two eagles on there do something this has to stay on an austria jersey this is the identity nothing against black jersey don't use teal pants and if you do do it nicely do it as a third jersey you know do some of another subway jersey <sighs> please help me in the comments please lift me again give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video subscribe to my channel if you want to see more and yes you'll get a vote to watch for and i'll give you a whole rundown on all the jerseys uh and what's gonna happen in your 2020 qualifying and beyond talk to you soon bye hey there I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too also consider subscribing to my channel to keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe and with that i want to wish you a wonderful day bye